Ukrainian formations attempted to attack civilian and military targets in Bryansk region. Russian air defense means intercepted 10 enemy drones near Starodub. The enemy again fired mortars at civilian targets in Belgorod region. In Murom, residential buildings, the house of culture and a school were damaged. Local residents were not injured. In Starobelsk direction, Russian troops continue fighting with AFU in Sinkivka. At the same time, Russian artillery is targeting enemy concentration areas near Kupyansk. In Lyman area, the Ukrainian command continues to prepare for counteroffensive in Kremina direction. Russian forces are fighting near Balka Zhuravka. The enemy is suffering heavy losses in manpower and armored vehicles. Russian troops continue to storm defenses of Ukrainian formations in Krasnohora and Paraskovivka. The liberation of the settlements will allow to increase pressure on the enemy grouping in the northern districts of Bakhmut. Fierce fighting is taking place in the eastern districts of the city. Wagner PMC units are storming AFU positions, Zabakmutivka, near the meat processing plant and near cemetery. To the southwest, the Ukrainian command is pulling in manpower in attempt to prevent the loss of the road to Kostyantinivka. Russian troops are assaulting AFU positions in Krasny and also advancing towards the village of Stupochki. Ukrainian formations using missile and barrel artillery continue shelling Donetsk and its suburbs. Residential buildings in the capital of DPR and Makivka have been hit. Two women have been wounded. The situation in Zaporizhia direction has not changed significantly. Artillery duels and positional fighting continue. Ukrainian units are fortifying their defenses along the line of contact. 